there is a new, very unique e-bike that just hit the market that's essentially trying to blend a Suron electric dirt bike with a more street legal conventional e-bike. And they do this by introducing a drivetrain that I've never quite seen before. It's essentially a Suron motor chain sprocket, but with pedals added directly onto the motor. And yes, these are functional pedals. So in this video, we're gonna go over this new bike, tell you guys what you need to know about it, including some of the potential drawbacks, because I do think, unfortunately, there are quite a bit for this bike. So this bike is actually an updated version of an existing product called the Mini Goat. You can see the design, the frame, it's pretty much the same with one key difference. That bike had a pretty powerful hub motor, but the new version has this mid-drive Suron configuration. It does look like they're using a QS motor, even the chain, it's a 420 chain, which is the exact same as most electric dirt bikes. But you can see they added pedals directly to the shaft of the motor, and it's probably utilizing some kind of freewheel to make this possible. And I think if we're comparing this to a Suron pedal kit, this engineering, this approach is significantly better. And of course, the main benefit here is the ability to preserve a lot of the Suron electric dirt bike riding characteristics while being a little bit more street legal. Now on the topic of legality, technically this bike is still not street legal in most places. Even with functional pedals, the maximum speed for a class three e-bike is 28 miles per hour. So theoretically, if you keep the speed limiter enabled, and you have the functioning pedals, this is probably safer than most electric dirt bikes. But with that said, there still is a chance that a cop could take this away because it is more than 750 watts. And of course, if you go above the speed limit, anywhere near the maximum speed of 50 miles per hour, then it is completely illegal to be riding on public roadways. Now, when it comes to the rest of the bike, this is running at 72 volts with a capacity of 40 amp hours. The motor itself has a peak power of eight kilowatts. It's also full suspension, including a rear linkage. And we have nice 20 by four inch wide fat tires with a full lighting kit. And this is something I really appreciate. I think more bikes should have it. Now with all this said, the, the bike is certainly not perfect. And here are some main cons in my opinion. Uh, the first and probably the biggest is the ergonomics and specifically the seating position. You can see here that the seat is located super far back from the handlebars. And in my opinion, this is a huge oversight from the company. Most electric dirt bikes have a very long seat that allows you to adjust your riding position. And this is a key feature that here, unfortunately, they completely overlooked. Something else I noticed is the lack of a direct mount handlebar stem. Instead, they're utilizing more of a bicycle uh, clamp here. And I think when you're dealing with this much speed, power, and weight, this was a pretty bad decision by the part of the company. They really should be using a safer, more durable direct mount handlebar system. And then the other big negative here is simply the weight. This thing with the frame design, the big battery, it's pretty bulky. It comes in at 180 pounds, which is gonna directly affect your range, maneuverability, and it just makes the bike bigger and look more like a motorcycle, kind of working against the whole pedal system. And the bike is also not cheap. It comes in at $3,800. And if you're just looking for a street legal pedal bike with a 72 volt battery, at this point, you do have other options that are significantly cheaper. But again, the key selling point here is that very unique drivetrain. I do like it, the sprocket, the beefy chain, and the way that they implement the pedals directly onto the motor shaft. I do think it's a very innovative approach, but definitely let us know your take on this in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.